Here we go, Monday night, just getting here to 50 lakes uh, at Upper Creek Campground. Uh, yeah, practice starts officially in the morning on whitefish. I was here yesterday and a little bit of Saturday and fishing's tough. Fish haven't grouped up yet, real good out deep yet, so it's going to be kind of a shootout maybe for the docks, which uh, I don't mind fishing, but not really for these things, so... A lot of people want to do it, but we're just getting set up here at the campsite. My dad's here once again. See him getting camping stuff together. We got the tent all set. Nothing too fancy, but official practice starts in the morning. The boat's been acting up, so gonna do a couple things and hopefully she'll be good for tournament day. So we'll see you in the morning, see how the rest of practice goes. Hopefully we'll be on them. Hmm. So here we are. First Champions Tour event of the year, Whitefish Chain of Lakes. Uh, if you can't tell, a few boat difficulties. The boat's not running right, so uh, super, super lucky, fortunate to have a friend like Rick to let me use his boat, as you can see right here. And uh, Starting off for tournament number one, just trying to, there she is, do as best we can, get some points, catch some fish, so we can continue on. You're at the whitefish chain, fishing's been, uh, fish are scattered, I thought there was only a few fish that are out deep. Uh, they divided the lake, the west side and east side, which I think helps me because I found some real, quite a few fish out on Cross Lake. Out on a weed line, but uh, I came in going into this that I was gonna have to go dock fishing, so anything else was a bonus. So that's what we got going on. We are making do, we're gonna do the best we can. Fish some weed lines. If that doesn't work out, we're gonna go docking with everyone else because it's gonna be a mess because the fish are not biting, not a lot of fish out deep, super surprisingly. There's bluegills, there's coontail, there's everything they need, they're post-spawn. They should be out deep, but they're not. I only found one spot and cross, and I caught one super skinny male today out on a weed line. So that's all we got. Probably going docking. We'll see you in the morning. Here we go, a quiet little morning here. Whitefish chain, step number one of the Champs Tour. Uh, as I said last night, uh, you can tell the boat went down the other day, so we're fishing out of the big tin rig. Thank you, Rick. And uh, we're just going to try to make the day the best we can. Uh, we'll find out at stop one if it's going on. So we'll see blast off here in a little bit. Chains on them, second cast. Got the thingy. I don't know if it's going, but it'll be close. You got the scale? Yeah. Mm. You see it? Stop wiggling. <laughs> One pound, eight, eight and a half ounces. Oh, well, it's just one eight. I'm good with that, man. We got, we got ourselves one. There was a bunch of fish here the other day. Yeah, you see those again? I saw them swimming. Ready? Dude. Yes. I don't know if he's going to go. Oh, it'll be close. Good? <laughs> That'd be nice. Stop. Stop. <laughs> one pound seven. I'll one pound seven and three quarter. That's cool. Yeah, Trigan. 
Is there a refresh for KG? Yep, no problem. Uh, it's all good. Like I said, trying to slow down this year. <laughs> oh, Shane's got one. Nice. Must be fishing. Shane Ravelin? Yep, that's him right there. Yep, oh, he just got a dink. Somebody's got four or five pounds already. There's nothing too special about this thing, to be honest with you. It's just that, you know, obviously a lot spawn way back there. Yeah. It's just a big stupid bar. And I fished a bunch, bunch of this other stuff out deeper and it just never... For me. Yep. Oh! Yep, yep, came out, came out. There's a tiny little bass in there. Really? Yeah. Yep. Uh, I don't think it's big enough. Nope, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Thank you though. Dude. Got one. One pound, six ounces. At this point, I had only caught three fish in about an hour, and I knew I could see I was gone, so I started running docks. He's gonna go a pound, but close. Yeah. Come on, baby. Oh, he did. Stop it. One point and a half. All right. One pound and one half. We'll take him. That's a good call. It might be a decent one. Nah, oh, he's not that big. He's better. Better. Alright. Sweet. Told you it'll be fun under there. Oh, there you go, man. You called that one. 2.3. <laughs> right now. Yeah. You care if I keep going through here or is that going to mess with you? It's going to mess with me. Sounds good, man. Thanks, yep, no problem. <laughs> you didn't see before is I broke off both my tube rod, rods and I started throwing this little shaky head and they were biting it so I just kept with it. Not usually what you want to use to skip off. Yep. I don't know if he's going to go a pound though. Uh, that's alright. It's, right. oh, it's pretty small. It's like a 15 ounce. <laughs> that's good. Thank you. There you go. guy doesn't go a pound, does he? Yes, no, no. Probably be a little short. 
14? One pound. What? One pound and a quarter. Wow. Can you believe that thing? Look at that little thing. You're calling it, huh? I'm guessing two pounds right there. Oh, yeah? What are you guessing? I got no clue on that one, man. Got him. Oh, jeez. Oh, Pretty big. That's a good one. Oh, my. Why were you under there? Is he going to come? I don't know if he's in there or not. Yep. There we go. Yeah. Better one. Baby. Yeah, baby. Need. What were you doing in there? <laughs> okay. Two pounds, 15 ounces. We'll take that. Yes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Your sunglasses. Yep. Let's see. That's not good. Thanks, man. Yep. I think they'll go back to where they were. <laughs> Seven this morning. I got one again. I don't know if it's a big one, but it's a fish. That's a pike. Don't worry about it. I think so. I think it's a pike. No, it's a bass. motor it's big enough to keep yeah. up here we're just drifting all around 12 and 11 and a quarter huh no i'm sorry uh <laughs> oh, it's flopping now that's uh, fine one and 12 and 112 okay. yeah. thank you sorry. and there you go it's lunch break uh, halfway through the day, made an adjustment, uh, ended up starting to fish a little bit of inside weed lines by some docks and the fish had moved up. Figured them out just uh, too late in the day, but uh, we're salvaging today, starting up to 12th place at one point, and uh, here we are, time to regroup and go to the other side of the lake. The man, Kyle here, he's up on me. He's Look not up by much. <laughs> had a tough first period, didn't fish clean, lost some fish, gonna change it around in the second half. Yeah, you are. How many pounds the second half? At least 60, I think. 60 will be good. Need. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you'll have it. I got high hopes. <laughs> yeah, I want it. This, this, this lake fits well for you. Mm. Oh yeah, feel the love. We'll see. There you go. There's the update from the man. Second half. I'm hoping we'll catch some nice fish. <laughs> Are you gonna make calls for me to catch them again? Of course. Yeah, for I'll sure. I'll try to tell you where they hopefully yeah, be. Where you think they would be, huh? Uh, probably same place. <laughs> we lined by docks. Yeah. That's where they'll be. You're right. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna. I'm gonna catch them. We're gonna catch them in the second half, right? Yep. All right. Let's do it. <laughs> Good luck. Thanks. Fish until 4 o'clock. Return here by 4.15. Thanks. Fish. There's a decent one. That's a really good one. Don't do that. Nope, that was a different one, man. Two point three and three quarter. Two three. I'm good with that. Looks a little bigger than that, but oh, whatever. It's fine. It's a good one. Hold on a second, man. 
give me a second. Just give me a second. Give me a second. Right, no, no, no. Yeah, I just. It's not. It's not a giant. Sounds good. Yep, you found. Let's see if my wrap works now. I'll take a picture of the regular camera. <laughs> so they, my dad had one fall up his crank, so. Nope. 1.14 F4. 1.14? Oh yeah. And you got? Nope, sorry. Man. The excitement. Yeah. Don't worry man, I'm bored as heck too. That's a good one. Stay on, dude. Ooh, that's a nice one. 2.9. Mm. Got her? Gotta go. All right. Oh, man. oh. Ah, you didn't have to. All right. Thanks, man. Oh, Great. Yeah. <laughs> you got it. That's nice. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, have a good one. yeah. You too. Well, there you have it. We were uh, able to squeak by, staying about the top half or so. I think right now I'm sitting in 26th place out of 50. So, not the worst day ever, but. Uh, disappointing after starting off so good the first half and fortunately the docks I was fishing the second half I started out on the main lake and there was just not a lot of fish to be had and uh, it's a bad choice we ended up going back into some other little lakes catching a couple fish but it's too late and uh, bad decisions so that's the way it goes but on a plus note Kyle that gave the uh, halftime report Mopped him up, as he would say, as usual. So, nice work to Kyle once again, getting a third place, getting some cash money and some points once again for Angler of the Year. Dude's crazy stick. This is uh, his game, man. And so, congrats to him, congrats to Matt Peters and Dean Capper and everybody that did good because pretty tough bite. Um, but it is what it is, we kept the wheels on and a chance to make the championship to Mille Lacs, which will be a good time. Thanks for watching. <laughs>